Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I have some easy Dollar Tree red truck Christmas DIYs to share with you. So let's get started. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy Dollar Tree DIYs and subscribe if you're new. So a lot of us have been on the hunt for these red truck um, plates from Dollar Tree and cups. I also haven't had any luck finding it, so I decided to just go ahead and try and make one on my own and share with you guys. Maybe this will give you some inspiration. So first I took these Dollar Tree loot bags that have the little red truck on it that says Merry Christmas. I took some Mod Podge that you can get from Dollar Tree or any like craft store and I took one of Dollar Tree's plates. I used the plate with the gold rim around it just because I thought it was pretty and this was just going to be for decoration only. Obviously you can not eat off of this or I would not advise you to eat off of this because you're gonna have Mod Podge on it and it's just not meant to be eating on these are all for decoration purposes to be able to still give you that red truck plate vibe and feel without us obviously being able to find us so first you're just going to need to go ahead and cut out the Merry Christmas from the loot bag as well as the um, red truck. I guess you could do both and not separate them. I just wanted to kind of be able to position both pieces how I wanted to, but this is just for inspiration only. You can jazz it up, do it however you want to do. I just wanted to be able to give you an idea of what you could do and obviously you could take it and run with it. So after I got done cutting it out, I just placed them on the plate kind of how I wanted to position them. And then I took my Mod Podge and just placed it in the area where I wanted the red truck to go. Once I was happy with the placement of it, I just took the Mod Podge and went over it again and let it dry. And once it was dry, I took this little display easel and I put it in my coffee bar. I think it looks so cute like this. It's not perfect by any means, but it definitely still gives you that red truck plate vibe. And especially if you can't find the plates, this is a definite awesome alternative to the plates that Dollar Tree has. Then I wanted to go ahead and do the same kind of with my coffee cup. So I took a coffee cup, also cut out another red truck, and this time I just used the red truck on one side. I added the Mod Podge to the front of the coffee cup where I wanted it to go, then placed the truck on it just like I did with the plate, positioned it how I wanted it, and then added more Mod Podge on it as well. I also took Merry Christmas and did the same thing to a different coffee cup and I displayed them like this and I think it looks so cute displayed together. Again, it's not perfect. It looks a little bit better, better from further away than it does up close but this is just for decorative purposes and I just think it turned out so cute. It was so simple to do and so cheap to make. I love it so much. It's perfect for a little coffee bar or anywhere where you wanna have that red truck vibe or feel in your home. Then I took this paddle cutting board and I again cut the images out and took the red truck and put it on the bottom and the Merry Christmas on the top did the same thing as the plate in the cup, put the Mod Podge down, positioned it with the red truck on it, and then added Mod Podge over the top of it. I actually went ahead and made two of these. I kept one plain with just the images on it and then you'll see in a second I added green twine to the top of one and a Dollar Tree ornament just to jazz it up a little bit. I think either way it looks super cute and again you're not going to be able to use this as a cutting board but if you want a little bit of decoration in your kitchen, you want that red truck feel, this is a perfect way to achieve that. It's super cute and I'm just really happy with it and my daughter and my husband think it's so cute as well. You could also add greenery or a bow instead of an ornament, however you wanted to do it. Again, this is just um, to give you some inspiration or an idea, but take it and run with it. Decorate it however you want. I just like the way that this turned out, but there are so many ways that would look so awesome. You can do whatever your heart desires.
Next, I wanted to add the little red truck Christmas ornament to a wreath hanger to jazz up my wreath that I'm using outside a little bit. So I took the red truck ornament and just added some hot glue to the back and placed it on the wreath hanger from Dollar Tree. And it looks so cute. It just adds this little extra pizzazz to your wreath. This wreath is a wreath that I end up using on my porch. So I just wanted it to be kind of simple and I think the red truck ornament on it adds the perfect touch. Last, I just wanted to share, this is not from the Dollar Tree, but this is a placemat that I found at Dollar General and it was only a dollar. And I just put it in a Dollar Tree picture frame that I had on hand. I didn't even paint the frame or anything. Another thing you could do would be poke little holes, add some fairy lights, and you could have lights in the back. I didn't do that for this one, but that's definitely something you could do that would look really, really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed these really easy Dollar Tree red truck Christmas DIYs. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.